Hi, and welcome to Pre-AP Chemistry at Allen High School. We're talking about acids and bases. And we're moving into stoichiometry. Now, what is really sweet about acids and bases is most of the mole ratios are going to be one to one. So most of our little magic mole ratios will be one to one. But you know what? You still must show. Okay, even if it's one to one, when I'm looking for ways to give you partial credit, this is one of those points I'm able to award you if you'll show me that. Now, I want you to notice what I've done on here compared to what's on your notes. I have found that using the RICE at this stage gets confusing with another kind of calculation that we do. So do you notice I, I changed this to our start shift stop that we did when we did stoichiometry and limiting reagents before. So um, cross that off, cross out the rice. We're going to save, we're going to save this method for equilibrium. I've just found that it gets it got really confusing with my AP kids. So we're gonna save that for equilibrium. We're gonna use SSS for this. Okay, now um, what we're starting with is nitric acid. And remember that ic came from eight. So we're talking about nitrate, and you add an H plus onto it. So it's 0 0.033 molar. This is zero, this is zero. Now because this goes 100%, I'm going to lose all of that nitric acid. Now, what's not shown explicitly in your notes, which I wish we would have right here, is this is a one-to-one -one mole ratio in here. That's why those are equal, because I get one H plus for every one HNO3. Okay, and then once I have my H plus, I take minus the log, I have my pH. Let's do the same thing with the strontium hydroxide. Again, notice how I changed that, our little grid. Now, for this strong bases, it's the group two strong bases where you will see a two to one ratio as opposed to the one to one. So again, there's our strontium hydroxide. Initially, at the start, we have none of our product. Since it's a stoichiometry, I'm going to lose all of my reactant, it will go to zero. It's not limiting, we're not dealing with any limiting reagents here, okay? Um, at this, remember for the shift, we use the magic mole ratio. It's two to one because I get two hydroxides for every one strontium hydroxide. So my hydroxide ends up being 0 0.066 and my strontium ion is the same because it's one to one. Okay, just like what we did with limiting reagents, no different. But remember, we've got OH minus, so it's two steps. First, we've got to get to POH, and then we can get to pH using the formula, of, um, using this formula here. Okay, so let's try a few of these on uh, in here. So I've got chloric acid. It came from eight. Chlorate is ClO3. That's one of our strong. We won't be doing any calculations with weak acids in this unit. That's saved for our final AP prep unit uh, after tax. Okay, So it says, what is the pH? Well, if I want pH, I need my H+. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. this method that you are already familiar with, and then another method with which you're familiar. Uh, and I'll accept either. Whichever one works best for your mind is okay, as long as you explicitly show the magic mole ratio in your work. Uh, the advantage of doing this SSS method is often a variety of questions are asked. It'll ask, what's the original acid? What's the chloride ion? What's the H plus? What's the pH? And this grid gives you almost all of it at once. So I have none of my product. Since it's a stoichiometry, I'm going to lose all of my acid. It will go to zero. Now I have to multiply by the magic mole ratio, which is one over one. 
it's a product, so I gain my product, 0.05. And this is 1 over 1 times 0.05. I know you think that's silly, but if we don't put that 1 over 1 in explicitly, when it's something other than that, you'll forget to do it. So that means my H plus is also 0.050 molar. And now if the question had asked me, I also have my chlorate ion. So now my pH is equal to minus the log of my H plus. And I get 1.30 as my pH. Now let me show you the minimum work I would accept for this would be a stoichiometry. Okay, So here's how we would put that in. Let me show you. I have 0 0.050 moles of HClO3 per 1 liter. Now for every 1 mole, that's what molarity means, right? Moles per liter. For every 1 mole of HClO3, I get one mole of H plus, and so I'm back where I was with the other question. Okay, again, you have to remember to do this. It, it is critical. It's a way I can give you partial credit, and remember in our class, all work leading up to the final answer must be shown in order to earn any credit. So show your mole ratios. All right, let's try one with strontium hydroxide. So I've got SROH2. It's strong. Group 1, group 2 hydroxides except beryllium and magnesium are strong. And I'm going to get two hydroxides. So this is one where the mole ratio will come into play a little bit more clearly. Or this is, oh, I'm sorry, this is sodium hydroxide. I was just hoping it was strontium hydroxide so we'd have a 2 to 1. Let's try this one again. This is pretty straightforward. S sodium hydroxide, one sodium ion, one hydroxide ion. So my sodium hydroxide, my sodium's 0.0667. None of this, none of this. It goes 100%. That mole ratio is 1 over 1. That mole ratio is 1 over 1. Okay, so there's my hydroxide. What's nice about this grid is it tells you, uh, it provides us a framework to find a number of answers. We'll even do ones that are backwards pretty soon, probably the next video, in which we're asked for the original base. And this grid gives us those answers uh, in a much more straightforward manner. So it asks for my pH. Well, I can't go directly to pH, so I either have to go from OH minus to POH, and then POH to pH, or I could go from OH minus to H plus, and then from H plus I can get to pH. You can take whichever route you want. I took this one here. So I'm going to get my pOH, and pOH is minus the log of my OH minus. So my pOH is 1.18, pH is 14 minus that. Remember, we did that earlier. So I'm making an assumption you get that. When there are steps that you don't understand, you want to put some sort of marker by them to ask me in class or tutorial time so I can help you out with that. Okay, now we have one that's a 2 to 1 ratio. We have calcium hydroxide. We are not going to see any acids that are 2 to 1. All right? None of the acids will have both H pluses come off, but the bases do. So I've got calcium plus 2 hydroxides. And my calcium is 0 0.0682, none of this, none of that, minus. So before you get going, go ahead and put in those mole ratios. That's a 1 over 1. The question may ask you about your calcium ion. 
and that's times 2 over 1. And then we can put in that change, that shift from reactant to product. So this goes to 0. This is 0 0.08. 682 and this is 0 0.1364. Now you can do it using straightforward dimensional analysis as long as you show me your work very, very clearly. And the difficulty with doing it this way is you won't get quite as much information as the grid forms. So I've got this many moles of calcium hydroxide per one liter. That's what the molarity means. I release two, the salt, I don't, the salt releases two hydroxides for every one mole of calcium hydroxide. Okay, so that would work as well. All right, now this is two steps to pH. I'm presuming you know how to do those two steps um, by now and in fact I even forgot to calculate it so I'll have to um, calculate that one in class or I'll do it right now let me pull up my phone it'll take me about it'll take too long okay so I'm gonna let you get to pH so I would go to pOH and then to pH and I just neglected to do that when I was doing the work alright so I'm assuming you can get to the pH of this now let's go to the next one sulfuric acid. Now sulfuric acid is one of our polyprotic acids but only the first H plus is strong. The second H plus is weak. So we're only going to deal with the first H plus right now. So this is 0 0.0550 none of this, none of that. That's minus, it's a hundred percent, I'm going to lose a hundred percent of this. This is a one-to-one -one mole ratio, this is a one-to-one -one mole ratio. Okay. So do you see now Whatever the question asks, I have a lot of information in this grid. And if we want the pH, pH is equal to um, 1.26. It's minus the log of our H+. Now, you can do this via d just a simple dimensional analysis. But again, you have to show me the mole ratio. You can't just grab numbers out of thin air because I don't know if you're grasping at straws or if you know what you're talking about. So you have to show your brilliance in abundant detail. All right. So even if it's one to one, if you don't show that mole ratio, it's minus one point. All right. So uh, we have another whole big page of calculations to do that are very similar to this and will actually take some of the information of calculating molarity and link it to all the way to pH. And so we'll do that in our next videos. Until then, this is signing off.